Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is function and various types of functions and also I will explain various types of user defined functions. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is function. Function is a block of code that can be reused n number of times. The main use of function is code reusability. For example, when you want to develop any software, there are situations where you need to repeat some lines of code again and again. So instead of writing same lines of code again and again, we use functions. Whatever the code that we written inside our function, we can repeat this block of code multiple number of times. I will give one example so that you can clearly understand how function will work. Before that, you need to know what are the types of functions. Functions are classified into two types. One is standard library functions and next one is user defined functions. At first, I will explain what are standard library functions. The standard library functions are built in functions. That means meaning of these functions are already present in header files. For example, if you consider printf scanf, this printf and scanf meanings are present in hcdao.h header file. We call this printf and scanf as built in functions because these meanings are present in hcdao.h header file. Next, user defined functions. Function which is created by user for his need is known as user defined function for example you can give any name for your function like sum the sum is function name or you can also give any other name like fun so on this is user defined function now i will explain program for user defined function this is program to create a function at first you need to write hash include hdao.h after that you need to write void now you need to write here your function name for example, I want to give my function name as fun. So I am giving here function name as fun. As we know, we will denote function by using brackets. Here I am not giving any written type. So I written here void fun. Inside this, you need to write your code. For example, I want to print some statements like college and I want to print another statement like CSC. I created my function. My function name is fun. Inside my function, I written code like printf college and printf CSC. Now I want to print this statement. Now you need to write void main inside void main you need to call your function by giving your function name i given your function name as fun so i am calling this function fun and definitely you need to include semicolon here by writing this code you will get output as college and csc for example if you write function again for example if you write your function name again i written my function name twice so i will get output as college and csc twice because i written here function twice for example, if you want to repeat this code thrice, then you need to write here function. This is use of function. By using function, you can repeat block of code multiple number of times. Now I will explain program for addition of two numbers by using function. At first, I written hash include hdao.h. After that, I written void because I'm not giving any return type. So I written here void and I given function name as add. Inside this, I'm writing code for addition of two numbers. So I written here int a comma b comma c. After that, I written printf. After that, I written scanf percentage d percentage d and a and and b. By writing this, I can enter two values of a and b. After that, I written c equal to a plus b. Now this c will contain result. So we need to print c by writing printf percentage d comma c. After that, you need to write void main and you need to call your function inside main function. So I written here void main. Now you need to call this function by giving function name. Here I given function name as add. So you need to write here add. By writing this, you will get output as enter values of a comma b. Now I can enter values like I want to add two numbers 10 and 20. Whenever you enter 10 and 20, you will get output as 30. For example, if I write my function name again inside this main function, now I can enter values twice. So again, I will get output as enter values of a comma b now i can enter two values for example i want to add 5 and 5 so by writing this i will get output as 10 for example again if you write your function name here you can enter values three times whenever you execute your program at first control goes to main function so inside main function i return add after that it will check whether any add function is present in program or not so add function is present here so it will run this code so you need to remember that whenever you execute your program at first control goes to main function after that inside main function i given function name as add so it will check whether add function is present in our program or not so add function is present here so control goes to add function and it will execute code which is present in add function for example if you want to use return type for function just in place of void you need to write int and here you need to write return 0. 
This is return type of a function. Next, I will explain passing parameters to a function. We also call these parameters as arguments. I will explain program in order to pass arguments to a function. At first, you need to write hash include stdao.h. Now, you need to create your function void. I am giving function name as fun. Whatever the information that you write inside these brackets, you call it as arguments. Now, I want to pass two arguments to this function. First one is int a because I want to pass one argument as integer value and I want to pass another argument as string how we declare string like character b whenever you write character data type along with array it represents string inside this you need to write printf for integer percentage d and percentage s slash n comma a comma b by writing this it will print one integer value and one string value after that you need to write void main you gain function name as fun here you may get doubt like where to give values here i just written int a and i did not given any value and similarly i written here string b and i did not given any value so you need to give values here inside this function you need to write first value is integer so i am giving value as 10 comma next one is string for example i want to print string that is college so you need to write college in double quotations by writing this code you will get output as 10 and college this is my output for example if you want to give another value like function 20 comma btec so i am calling function twice with different values so i will get output as 20 btec similarly if i call three functions like function 40 comma csc i will get output as 10 college 20 btec and 40 csc this is my output next i will explain various types of user defined functions user defined functions are classified into four types first one is functions with no arguments and no return values and second one is function with no arguments and with return values third one is function with arguments and no return values fourth one is function with arguments and with return values i will explain programs for all these categories this is program for function with no arguments and no return values no return value mean I am not returning anything. So I return here void and I given function name as my fun and I am not passing any arguments inside this function. So we call it as function with no arguments and no return value. Inside this I return printf and I return statement as how are you and inside void mean I return my function name. Here I given my function name as my fun. Here I return my function name as my fun. So you need to write here my fun. You need to close this function with semicolon. I return my function three times. So I will get output as how are you, how are you and how are you. This is my output. And next one is function with no arguments and with return type. Functions with no arguments mean I am not passing any arguments inside this function. And with return type mean I am using return type. So I return here int and inside this function I return return 0. This is program for function with no arguments and with return type. So this is same program which I written before. So by writing so by writing this I will get output as how are you, how are you and how are you. This is my output. And next program is for function with arguments and no return values. At first I written hash include hdavo.h. Here this program is for function with arguments and no return values. No return value mean I am not returning anything so I return here void and I given my function name as my fun function with arguments mean I am passing arguments to this function I am passing two arguments one is string and another one is integer value so I return here character a I open square bracket I close the square bracket this represent array character data type along with array represent string and next I return int b and after that I return printf for string we need to use percentage s and for integer we need to use percentage d comma a comma b and inside void main i written my function name here my here i given my function name as my fun so you need to write here my fun and inside this you need to give values i am giving character as madhu and integer value as 3 and similarly again i written my fun and inside this i written string name as sai and value as 4 by writing this program i will get output as madhu3 sai4 this is my output next i will explain program for function with arguments and with return type this program is same as function with arguments and no return values difference is that in place of void you need to write int and here you need to write return 0 rest everything is same function which contains return type and as well as parameters we call it as signature of a function so whenever signature of a function question comes in exam then you need to write this syntax 
and then you can write this example because it contains both return type and as well as parameters guys in this example here i written void my function we call it as function definition and i written here void main inside this i am calling my function so i call this my function which i written inside void main as calling function instead of writing this program like this you can also write in another way the same program you can write like this here i written hash include hdo.h after that i written void my function and i am closing this with semicolon whenever i write like this we call it as function declaration i am not defining function i am just declaring my function after that i written void main inside void main i written my function because i am calling this function so we call this my function as calling function after writing void main my function now you need to define your function so i written here void my function and inside my function i given print a follow so we call it as function definition instead of writing like this you can also write like this in previous example instead of directly defining function you can just declare function after that you can define function after void main whenever function declaration question comes in exam then you need to write this example and whenever function definition question comes in exam then you need to write this example and they may also ask like difference between function definition and function declaration instead of directly defining function i just declared my function and then i am defining my function after writing main function 